Things we think about when we're reviewing or about to buy a drone are who's flying it, how big is their budget, and what do they want to shoot because the best drone for a pilot won't necessarily be the best drone for you. It is possible to use a remotely controlled drone for entertainment or military purposes. And lately, the drone has become a great hobby and pleasure. That's why in this video, we review a wide variety of drones, from entry-level options to professional quadcopters. Let's start. With its lightweight construction and professional-grade features, the DJI Mini 3 Pro was previously our favorite drone. While not radically different, the Mini 4 Pro builds on its qualities to deliver an even better experience. If you already have a Mini 3 Pro, it probably doesn't justify an upgrade. But if you're switching from a different model or purchasing your first Mini Series drone, this is an excellent choice. Its small folding design is almost identical to the Mini 3 Pro, as is its regulation-friendly 249G takeoff weight. Also the same is the 1 over 1, 3-inch sensor, which still offers excellent image quality. If you want the best lightweight drone, this is it. With excellent image quality and all-round obstacle avoidance, this is the most featured sub-250G drone. And if you're into video, 4K 100fps slow motion support and the D-Log M color profile offer added versatility and finer control of video output. It has enhanced video capabilities and omnidirectional vision sensing, yet is lightweight yet powerful. Featuring a small and lightweight folding design, extremely portable and organizer friendly. Aside from its diminutive size and weight and folding design, the Mini 4 Pro is very similar to the Mini 3 Pro, the main visual difference being the additional omnidirectional collision avoidance sensors at the top of the fuselage and a lower one auxiliary light. The Mini 4 Pro's flight times are nearly identical to those of its predecessors, with the same advertised flight time of up to 34 minutes with the standard intelligent flight battery. Depending on how powerfully the drone is flying and environmental factors such as wind and temperature, Flight times will typically last around 20, 25 minutes until homecoming is initiated with 20% battery. The most important feature that comes with the Mini 4 Pro is a very. It is omnidirectional vision sensing, which is directional collision avoidance. It uses four fisheye vision sensors, downward binocular vision sensors, and a 3D2F sensor, which aids flight safety in complex environments. The image quality produced by the Mini 4 Pro is impressive overall and extremely similar to the Mini 3 Pro, being nearly identical in most shooting modes. If you're a first-time buyer, the Mini 3 is the best budget drone you can buy. It's small, lightweight, and much more affordable than the Mini 4 Pro. It lacks the obstacle avoidance offered by its more expensive sibling, but if you're confident enough to navigate obstacles without DJI's automatic safety feature, the budget-friendly option offers the same image quality, 4K video at up to 30 FPS, and excellent JPEG and RAW images. The 12MP sensor also rotates for shooting and portrait. Handy for social and other major shortcoming compared to professional drones is subject tracking. However, DJI's Quick Shots feature is available and a treat for beginners allowing them to draw engaging video sequences with an automatic flight path and potential capture. This is an easy drone to start your piloting journey, especially if you get it with the optional controller and downward view sensors and GPS that help with precise hovering. You'll get better image quality and greater stability in windy conditions with professional drones like the Mavic 3 Classic, but the Mini 3 is one for budget buyers. Advertised maximum flight time is 38 minutes compared to the Pro's 34 minutes, but taking into account environmental factors as well as the default charge level of 25% when homecoming is initiated, flight time is actually around 25 minutes. These figures come from winter testing, and it is thought that flight times will improve during the hot summer months. 
In terms of features, the main point of interest for most people will be the camera, which can be rotated 90 degrees between landscape and portrait format. All photo and video functions available in both directions. Autel's latest DJI rivals flagship flying machine, the Evo Light Plus, directly opposes the Air 2S. It shares a fairly similar spec sheet, capable of shooting 5. 4K at 30 FPS using a 1-inch sensor, but it also leapfrogged the Air 2S and Mavic Pro 2 with 40 minutes of flight time and adjustable aperture, ranging from f2, 8 to f11. The Light Plus model lacks the fourth axis stabilization of its Evo Light sibling, but larger pixels on its sensor provide better light gathering potential in dim conditions. While professional drone videographers may think twice about the lack of 10-bit video and D-Log profile, the omission of side sensors for obstacle avoidance is a shame. But in all other respects, our review found the Light Plus to be an impressively versatile piece of flying camera equipment. For the money, its 20MP sensor is probably the best camera available on a drone today, giving the Air 2S serious competition. If you like to fly for longer periods of time, up to 40 minutes of flight time means the Evo Light Plus gives you more flexibility to adjust for the perfect shot. Since the original DJI Mavic was so successful, many, but not all, drone manufacturers have followed its structural form. The Light Plus follows the same model as most small drones that fold for transportation. Four rotating arms aid in rapid dispensing as the blades can remain attached physically. The Light Plus is close to the size of the rival drone, but at 820 G, it's 20% heavier than the 595 G DJI Air 2S. Most of this additional mass comes from the battery, which forms a significant portion of the rear drone superstructure. Instead of the battery sitting inside the drone, it slides out from the back to engage the fuselage and contains the power on button. The flying experience of this drone is enjoyable and the transition from a DJI drone or other brands should be very easy even for novice pilots. What becomes more apparent the more I fly, the Evo Light Plus, is that the significant amount of power available in the light plus allows for both fine control and dramatic performance when needed. For example, the Light Plus can climb at 29 km per h, allowing it to reach a typical legal operating altitude of 120 m in just 15 seconds. Without restrictions, a flight ceiling of 5 km 16,404 feet is technically possible, although not recommended in sports mode, a maximum speed of 67.6 km per h can be achieved which is roughly the same maximum as the DJI Air 2S. This allows this drone to lock the frame rate, but control the amount of light in the exposure, reducing the need for ND filters. And if you use ND filters with it, there is much greater scope for adjustment and better depth of field control. Simple, lightweight and affordable, the Rise Tello is a fun drone for first-time flyers. Despite its budget price tag, the Tello delivers plenty. The battery provided a reasonable 13 minutes of flight time in testing, while downward-facing light sensors allow the Tello to sit in place and perform a handful of automatic tricks. Our review found image quality from the nose-mounted 5MP camera to be less impressive, with limited dynamic range and noticeable compression artifacts when streaming 720 PhD video. Because the video is beamed directly to your smartphone, the frame rate is affected by any drop in connection strength. It offers a simple way to pilot Tello with a dual stick setup on the screen that's rewardingly responsive. The theoretical range is 100M, but 30 to 40M is more realistic, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, considering how even the slightest breeze can blow the 80G Tello off course. On a calm day, it's basically a pleasant drone to fly, moving along at a fast chop and reacting nimbly to intuitive inputs. The limited range is a bit restrictive, but provided you don't mind choppy video, it's still the best starter drone around the Rise Tello, is the result of a collaboration between leading consumer drone manufacturer, DJI, and Chinese startup Rise.
a simple, lightweight, and affordable quadcopter is clearly offered to newcomers to the hobby. In other words, it wasn't stripped to the bone to keep costs down. Even the plastic body feels a bit stiff and tough enough to survive a tumble, though we wouldn't call it premium by any means able to fly via a Wi-Fi equipped smartphone running the Tello app. The drone has a theoretical control range of 100M, a maximum altitude of 30M, and a maximum speed of 8M per S. When flying on a calm day or indoors, some propeller guards are included for the latter. You can also use them for outdoor flights. You can keep it connected. A pair of downward-facing sensors keep the Tello nice and steady. Take your hands off the controls and it will float in place rather than dragging around. This system is light-based, so it only works in bright conditions.